Hi, this is Brian Ichter, James Harrison, and Marco Pavone from Stanford University's Autonomous Systems Lab, discussing learning sampling distributions for robot motion planning. Sampling-based robotic motion planning algorithms have emerged as a very successful paradigm for high-dimensional, complex, and even differentially constrained systems. These algorithms maintain an implicit representation of the state space built on a bed of probing samples placed uniformly over the environment. In practice, however, many systems operate only over small regions of the state space, so should our sampling scheme really be uniform? For example, the Atlas system operates almost entirely in a standing and walking position. And any solution to the narrow passage problem below will likely focus on the region around initial and goal regions, avoid obstacles, and target the narrow passages. As such, we propose to learn to focus our samples in these regions from experience by leveraging methods from unsupervised learning and in particular, the conditional variational autoencoder. Using these methods allows very general problems to be learned, including those with complex dynamics. A good sample distribution may look something like this for the narrow passage problem. Maintaining some uniform coverage to maintain theoretical guarantees and protect against focusing too heavily in one region while also focusing on the regions of interest. We'll walk through a case study with a double integrator system on a narrow passage environment. The algorithm begins by generating training data from successful motion plans, though this data could also be from robot operation, human demonstrations, and other sources. The problem is first decomposed into a conditioning vector, in this case an occupancy grid and the initial and goal states. The CVAE then takes as input sample points from these successful solutions and learns to reconstruct the distribution of the solutions. The network architecture is standard for a CVAE. The training data begins with a zero mean Gaussian perturbed by the randomly initialized neural network. Quickly, the distribution converges to likely problem solutions. The entire training time takes less than 10 minutes. Online, the CVAE is then used to generate distributions for new planning problems. The new problem is first formed into the conditioning variable, and then the latent space is sampled from to generate new samples. The samples are augmented with samples from an auxiliary uniform sampler to maintain theoretical guarantees and protect against errors in the learned distribution. A final FMT run for the problem looks like this. Notice the high density of samples through the narrow passages from the initial and goal region. More than this, the samples all generally have the velocity vectors in the correct directions. The results show the learned distribution is able to solve the planning problem with nearly an order of magnitude fewer samples and the cost almost immediately converges to the optimal. We also make comparisons to previous state-of-the-art geometric sampling methods and find similar performance benefits. Finally, we demonstrate the generality of the approach with results on systems like a humanoid robot, a multi-robot system trained on human demonstrations, and a spacecraft with body dynamics and kinematic arms. For more details, please visit our poster 